Well, my name's Jack Riggs. I'm 43 years old, and I don't have the best history. I grew up in a broken home filled with drugs, alcohol, and violence. My father was a, an abusive, drunk Vietnam vet who physically beat me. I went on to live a similar lifestyle, drinking, drugging, jails, institutions. But there was a judge in 1989 who didn't feel like he needed to send me to jail, so he sent me to a ministry. In that ministry, someone told me that God receives you for who you are. So I accepted Jesus into my heart, but I didn't change. So I went on to do more time in prisons and jails. It wasn't until 2000 that I got out on parole and started shooting meth into my veins when I felt something pulling me away from the drugs. So instead of going to treatment or turning myself into my parole officer, I ran to the streets of Portland where I didn't know anybody and I felt like evil was chasing me. When I ran into a group of folks that were doing a homeless feeding, there were a bunch of guys off this ministry bus that were passing out Jesus tracts and offering one seat on the bus. I said, well, that would, that would be me. They wanted to know why I thought I was the one out of 300 people. I asked them if they'd ever heard of divine appointment. I wasn't from these streets, that I was trying to quit using drugs, and that if I wasn't on the bus, I'd be back in jail, dead, or using dope. So they told me I was the one. And when I went with them on a two-week evangelizing mission, we got back, I joined a ministry outside of Spokane in Deer Park. I served in that ministry for four months. And that four months, my life changed profoundly and my heart changed for God. I sought God with everything that I had. Unfortunately, my running caught up to me and I went back to prison for another four and a half years. When I got out in 2006, I came back to Yakima I thought it was the one shot at an honest life. It was my first time in 20 years that I wasn't on probation or parole. So I got a job, went to the bar every day after work like I thought normal people did. And it wasn't long after that that I got a DUI hit and run and I could see myself headed down the same old path. So I had to do some house arrest time and I was living on 105th and Summit View. When the house arrest time was up, I would find myself walking to 56th and Summit View to get movies three times a week. But one day, I thought how easy it would be to step out in front of an apple truck. But I knew that from my past, I would feel every bit of it and live. So I talked to God on my way to town and said, God, you know, there's got to be something you want me to do, somewhere you want me to go. Where do you want me to go? So I went across the street to the church by Safeway. They wouldn't talk to me. So I continued up the road to another church. They wouldn't talk to me. I stopped at the end of the driveway at Westside and called the number and asked if there was someone up there that I could talk to about life. I came up the driveway and sat in the commons with Pastor Rick for a couple of hours and explained to him that I had a void in my life and I couldn't fill it. And I've been coming to Westside ever since. Since I've been attending Westside, I've been nurtured, loved, forgiven from my past, and accepted for who I am. Jesus to me is my savior. He's forgiven me for my past. He's my hope for a future. He's my friend. He's someone I talk to on a daily basis. He's truly given me a passion to witness, to help the needy, those who have less. He's given me the boldness to speak to anybody. And I don't know any strangers at least none stranger than me. My name is Jack Riggs. In my life, I've been homeless. I've been a drug addict. I've been an alcoholic. I've been a thief. And I've been a convict. But since asking Jesus into my heart, I've been saved, redeemed, justified, and restored. <laughs>